What ignites my fire is taking an idea from someone, um, whether it be a piece, a scratch piece of paper or, you know, a, a drawing that they bring in and be able to take their ideas and making them a real tangible thing that not only showcases their business, but gets their ideas out into into the world and, and something that can make a difference for their business or for their project or whatever it is that we're doing. When I started thinking about the word ignite, spark and trigger came to my mind. And the thing that ignites my fire for Yappy Hour would probably be, I know it sounds corny, my love of animals. I grew up on a farm. So when the opportunity to purchase this business came around, no hesitation at all was involved. Also, this is a small business, so we work with uh, just family members, and we have one groomer who's not a blood relative, but she is like family. And then I think about everybody that goes to work and how there's bad days, there's good days. Honestly, this is not a job for me. This is therapy. There's never a day I go in that I'm not greeted, not with open arms, but with barking or yapping, uh, a lick, a wagging tail. It's, it's love. It's, it's constant therapy for me and for them. Greg and I also like the, the thought of being able to give back to our community. We have extended the uh, invitation for our local police department to be able to, their canine units and their handlers be able to come to Yappy Hour at any time and give their dogs a, a bath. And also the support from not only the chamber in Albertville, but the surrounding areas. Uh, it's been just overwhelming and something truly that we are thankful for. What ignites the fire within me, what motivates me to do everything that I do each and every single day, is just kind of knowing that it's kind of up to me in the sense of, you know, a typical job that I used to work, you had to go clock in, work 40 hours, and what you got is what you got, and that was pretty much it. I was a teacher before all this. If I wanted to get more money, like I had to go get more degrees. What I love about this is that it's really all up to me. I put in the work and God, you know, people, clients, they pay it back, you know, in the sense of like, if I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, if I'm doing things right, if I'm treating people right, if I'm delivering quality work, then God's going to take care of me. This business that I've started has opened up so many doors to where not only, not only am I blessed, but I'm able to bless other people. I can't tell you how many times I've been called upon to help out with something and I don't brag about it. I don't talk about it. I just do it. And I would not be able to do that if it wasn't for this business. So to keep that, knowing that if, if I'm giving and if I'm doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing, God's going to keep filling up my cup. That's what just keeps me going. Like, I want to be a blessing. I want to be an asset to the community. And that's what just motivates me to just keep going every single day. I want to be used by God. And I'm just fortunate enough that I get to do a business with something that I'm passionate about. I love cameras. 